Oh my gosh. Get in your cup. Over the weekend, I decided to stop by the Show Me Snakes Reptile Expo here in St. Louis because I just was trying to edit the previous video and I had way too much energy to just be like sitting at home editing. Sorry the previous video was late, this is why. <laughs> Let's go to the expo and then we'll sit down and talk about what I picked up. We have Mr. Tarantula Cat, let me see your shirt. That's a sweet shirt, Fiona here. We're sneaking in, don't tell Mickey, I'm just kidding, he actually gave me permission. So we are sneaking in and just gonna take a walk and see what there is. Actually, it looks like it's kind of popping for ending soon. It's been a pretty good day. It's just starting to wind down. Yeah, um, it actually seems pretty busy today. What are you using the Canon? I have the same camera. Are you an influencer now? Uh, I am a real life influencer, not on social media. Fighting with uh, Morph Market online? No, me and Darian are friends. I vote that you guys have a cage fight for USR. You know that I fought for like a decade, right? Let's do it, even better. I wouldn't do that to Darian. Oh, big yawn. Uh, said do it, do it. Yeah, do it, do it. Hi. 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 I'm Brooke. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I had to put them in these little baby containers. I felt bad to like keep them traveling. This is a full-time job to raise these. They really they are. It is. Oh man. I'm breeding gigantus right now. They're still very tiny. Me too. Nice. Yeah. They're, they've been gate kept forever and I haven't been able to get them, but I, I finally know. got them. I know. Oh my gosh. Just they'll let anybody here. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I just bought some yesterday too. And springtails. Um, I mean, I'll always take more. Yeah. Oh, let's take note of this sign. Hi, how's it going? Where's your other half? He's around somewhere. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so jealous that I you're know. gonna be in the tarantula cat video and he's not. Solo cameo. Uh, what do you have today? I got some really cool gargoyle geckos, some crested. Wow. Isopods, plants. I love these little mushrooms and the plants. That definitely makes it. I have a problem. They're like in everything now. <laughs> Same. I'm addicted. What There's is going so on? many mushrooms in everything. Oh my god. I need to show you my next plush. So these are completely self-sustainable. What's in them? So these are only moss. We try to do something. This one's only moss. We try to do something that's low maintenance. Um, so they require very little light maybe give them a little water one time a year just because it's glass it's not completely sealed up like the cork ones are yeah but yeah it doesn't eat it doesn't poop it doesn't need attention <laughs> that's awesome what's in this one that's just a little fern in there that's so cool do you have to trim them or anything um sometimes but in that low oxygen environment they tend to dwarf themselves a little bit and grow a little bit smaller that's pretty cool I like these little jumping spider hides. I'm gonna, do you do card or PayPal? Yeah, I'll do whatever. Oh yeah, that is really cool. I love it. All right, I'm gonna do one of these guys, I think. Hello, hello. 
Awesome. This is cute. What is this made out of? That's an acorn. That top. is so cool. So it's been a couple days and I wanted to sit down and show you guys what I picked up. So first, let me show you this really cute decor I got for enclosures. So I got this really cool mushroom. I noticed these were in the terrariums at the Gecko Home and Garden table and they are just so cute. Seeing them in the enclosure also makes me think that they uh, hold up well against you know moisture and stuff. So that's awesome. This is gonna look really cool in an enclosure. I'll probably use it in a jumping spider enclosure to be real. And honestly regret not grabbing a couple more because they're adorable. I also picked up this little hide from the same people. It's magnetic for jumping spiders. It's an acorn top with some clay and you know, it feels actually pretty sturdy. I really like it. And I think that'll look really nice in a jumping spider enclosure as well. So I got this from a newer vendor. I've never seen them before. And from my understanding, this was their first time vending. I think his name was Eight Legs with Jay. So I picked this really cool hide or I guess shelf, it's not really a hide but this really cool shelf up it's magnetic also and I thought that would be a really cute little you know piece of decor in a jumping spider enclosure it's really awesome to see like jumping spider stuff at an expo like not gonna lie from the same person I purchased the mushroom decor from I grabbed these Phytopus species I never kept them before but I was specifically looking for smaller younger jumping spiders there's some really cool enclosures hitting the market here soon and uh, I wanted to to have a smaller jumping spider for one so I actually ended up uh, picking up two just in case because you know when they're small it's a, it's a little 50 50 I'm not gonna take the lid off this one because as you see there's like a little web up here and I think we might be getting ready to molt so that's kind of a new web that wasn't there yesterday when I purchased them so um, yeah we'll leave that there but this one is uh, kind of out and about so we'll have to be really careful because my goodness they are very fast and frightened. Oh my gosh, precious. Now aren't you absolutely adorable? Oh, oh! Um, very fast. The only reason why I knew it was there was because I heard it hit the back. Well, aren't you fun? Not in the bag, oh my gosh. Get in your cup. My goodness, are we athletic. <laughs> that is so funny. But yeah, so we have two of these guys and um, I'm not quite sure how large they get or what area they inhabit. I still have to do a little bit more research. I know, shame on me, but absolutely thrilled with my pickups there. And the jumping spider stuff, super cute. And of course, as usual, my friends over at STL Worm Factory hooked it up with some hornworms and quite there are quite a few in here. Um, 40 are in here. They asked me if I could use 40. I said, of course I could use 40 because I have a snapping turtle. So very generous of them to gift those to the channel as well. Um, thank you guys so much. Everybody at the expo was awesome. I had a good time. You know, like I said, I kind of went at the end. I wasn't really expecting much and it ended up being like much busier and much more fun than I was expecting. Let me know how you feel about the new intro, by the way. And uh, yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram news, probably way too much as ashranchel.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.